and as always thanks for joining me I'm glad you're here today I'm gonna to be making something besides this big mess I did make that big mess making this I don't know if you call that it's not a bowl it's too tall is it too big to be a vase not a vessel we'll call it a vase I don't think it's a pot anyway that's what I'm gonna make it today so if you want to see how I did it stick around and Hopefully I might get through the whole thing. I recently got some a few pieces of cedar from my in-laws. They had a tree that fell across their fence and cut it up. So this week's project is going to be going to make a bowl out of this one. I like this these holes in here. I'm going to turn it around, make it round, and I'm going to put it in a, a bowl or something, um, some container, and pour a resin in there. I'm thinking about making a reddish color, and I'm not going to put as much in this time. Hopefully it'll be more clear than my last ones have been. So, I don't know, I'm still working out the color. But anyway, stick with me. I'm going to drill a hole for the worm screw, get it turned around, and we'll get to mixing up some resin. So stick around. Okay, so I had to go get some windshield washer fluid today so I could have a mold. But I'm going to use Claret, Claret, whatever. I think it might look pretty decent in there. I'm not going to use as much as I usually do because I usually get too much color in there. So here we go. All right, this is the last pour. <clears throat> Say that confidently because I have no more resin. I gotta come up with a better system for that. So we're gonna put in a pressure pot for tonight and check it more. All right, so here it is out of the pressure pot. Really pretty color, but not nearly as clear as I wanted, which seems to be the, the going way for me. So maybe when I turn a lot of this material off, it'll lighten up some, we'll see. If not, it should still be kind of pretty. So let's get going.
I'm gonna gonna turn it around, but I think I'm gonna have to redo the outside because for some reason it's off center. I'm sure you can see that wobbling. So kind of starting over, but not really. So we'll get it done. As I suspected, I had to return the outside so it wouldn't wobble. I have to say, pretty happy with that. I have no idea what that is, but well, unless it's the epoxy. Can you see that? Kind of looks a little out of place, but. gonna do it like a lot of people do just hollow out as much as I can and then then cut off that uh, post I guess you call it in the middle because it gives more support but that's taking forever and it's gonna wear out my tool so I'm gonna drill it like I normally do Alright, so I sanded the inside just like I did the outside and I put the axe polishing and restoring paste. I put that on the inside and I did it again on the outside just just because. And I got my light in there. It's actually a lot more transparent than what I anticipated. Couple bubbles there, but Turned out better than I expected. I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm gonna get it off and do the finishing touches and I'll get some pictures. Let's take it outside and see how it looks. See that little spot there? I think that was just a, a void in the wood. need to wipe it out. A little dusty still.